Welcome to Let's Veg About It. So today we are on our way to the first ever vegan festival here in South Korea. We are at Boguang Station and we are on our way. So come and join us and see what they've got there. Let's go! Hey everyone, I'm here at um, the vegan festival as you can see and welcome to let's veg about it So today we're gonna definitely veg about this vegan festival. It's been amazing There's so many people here who are supporting it and it's wonderful to see all of the wonderful people So we're gonna take you guys on a little tour of what we have here I must say I am super impressed with the amount of support today We've had over a thousand people come from all over Gyeonggi province and the vendors did not disappoint there was a wide variety of products for sale, like cruelty-free clothing, vegan toothpaste, and other personal care products, as well as food made right on the spot. Many vendors that aren't normally vegan adapted their menu items to accommodate the event. This goes to show how our movement has impacted our society due to the growing demands for vegan vegetarian options. I'm grateful that we are finally seeing how we are bringing awareness to our community through these types of events. But, before I continue on, I almost forgot phrase of the day giveaway. As I had promised, those that participated would get a special prize at this vegan festival, and they did. I'd like to thank all the participants for making it out to the Violife Cheese booth to get their awesome prizes. And our grand prize winner, Cameron, way to win some David's Earthling comics. Also, a huge thanks to Violife Cheese for their awesome support. If you haven't tried Violife, check out their website at VegBox. And yes, they do deliver. Thanks to Hannah Green for capturing the moment of a great giveaway. Book her for any of your special events. But this isn't all that happened at the vegan festival. There was much more. Although we had over 15 vendors present, I'll be highlighting some of my favorites. I'm sure you guys remembered my Tour de la Vegetarian on Coexistence. Well, they have recently changed their names to Huggers. And they came out with some of their awesome, freshly juiced products and their delicious bakeries. Speaking of bakeries, there were so many bakeries present today. One vendor had so many baked goods like whole grain bread, some cookies and muffins. Another was the Baker's Table, which had some awesome hearty Italian inspired breads. These were very tasty, especially paired with the hummus. Oh my word, their hummus was delicious. Simon Bakes Bread was another vendor present with their amazing hearty breads. They sold sourdough and bagels. That's right, they had a variety of bagels of the likes I've never seen. Unfortunately, I was too late when I went to buy some. Okay, Guilty Free Bakery sold vegan cupcakes, which I highly recommend the pumpkin chocolate. It was amazing, and of course, one of our favorites, Batty Cake. She never ceases to amaze us with her cupcakes. Her chocolate cupcakes were so moist and delicious. Let's just say, um, I didn't share. So for those of you who know I don't have a sweet tooth, so for me to enjoy them that much is quite a compliment to these bakers. What made this festival even more awesome was the diversity of food and desserts. Full in Raw, a culinary school devoted to raw cooking, was present with their desserts from coconut macaroons, walnut brownies, chocolate tarts, and of course, fresh coconut water. One vendor sold chocolate strawberries and pear pudding, along with matcha tea. Some vendors sold local grains and legumes and juices. If you were at the entrance of the festival, you would have seen Dal Young there serving some quesadillas, soft serve vegan ice cream, teas, and selling their prized homemade mozzarella cheese. One vendor provided a traditional buckwheat noodle dish called momin, which was perfect for a hot day like this. And it was, uh, it was too bad that I didn't get a chance to taste it, but I'm sure it was very delicious. One of my other favorite foods um, that came out was from Macro. It's called Macrovi, which sold a yubu chobab. 
Not your typical white rice, but they used organic brown rice along with multi-grains and some vegetable chunks. It was amazing and definitely worth it. Another vendor had bruschetta, some sort of quinoa rice, and pita sandwiches. And Sheev's uh, representative was out with their crackers, bagels, and cream cheese selling out on their hot commodity, along with Dutch brand of vegan kebabs, which were very, very tasty. There was even a vendor who sold beet burgers, a salad, and organic iced tea. But if the burger joins, I would have to say Kong's Burger was setting the stage with the longest line ever. Their burgers were indeed worth the wait. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. One particular booth was called Animal Paradise, which sold vegan hot dogs and vegan eggs to help support their cause. I won't lie, those eggs looked too real for me to want to eat them. <laughs> but those vegan hot dogs were definitely worth it. They were absolutely delicious, even for the, um, the next day. And of course, Sarang Bunshik was there with their famous vegan jajang topoki and fried kimmari. So if you guys didn't get a chance um, to check them out, they are amazing. They also have a restaurant in Seoul. So um, all the information is down in the description below. And of course, who would forget about the BioLife Cheese booth? They were out there promoting their amazing soy skewers and quesadillas using their BioLife Cheese. And who would ever forget Grace's amazing fried chicken? Nobody, that's who. Seriously, it was just as delicious as the first day I ever tried them. No lie, I bought these the first chance I got because I knew she'd sell out if I left her booth without buying it. Hey guys, and thanks so much for joining me on Let's Veg About It. I hope you guys enjoyed the vegan festival as much as I did. It was incredible, all the wonderful people. We've got artists out here playing music and just people chilling out and enjoying amazing vegan friendly food as well as cruelty, um, cruelty free clothes that are being sold and all of the amazing artists and um, craftsmen. I hope you guys come back next year. Hopefully we're going to have the next vegan festival and hope you guys check it out. Come check out more of my videos and follow me on Instagram or subscribe. Thanks again for joining us on Let's Veg About It. See you next time and take care. Bye.